And in this video, we're going to use Onshape to create the wedge, cylinder, and tall block for 1.2.5. Uh, we're going to use parameters as we create those. That way, if yours is a different size, uh, it's still going to be able to easily adjust to the size you need. Uh, so to do that, first we're going to set up our parameters. So I'm going to come over in the configurations panel here on the right-hand side. I'm going to hit on the drop-down to configuration variable. Uh, first one, I'm just going to name length. I'm going to leave that as the default to 1. So then I hit my green check to accept. Uh, then I'm going to do another one. So I'll come down here on the bottom, configuration variable. And I'm going to name this one height. I'm going to make this one default to 2. Hit the green check again. And then I'm going to add a third configuration variable. And this one's going to be the depth or how fat the object is. And I'll make that one 0.5 as the default. And accept. Uh, then I'm going to minimize that window, and first thing we're going to do is sketch our triangle. So I'm going to go on the front, and I'm going to quickly just sketch out a triangle. So I'm going to start at my origin using a line, go on my origin, go over to the side. Then I'm going to come back up to my y-axis, and then I'm going to come down to my origin again. Uh, then I'm going to use the dimension tool to set my length. So down here on the length, I'm just going to name it length. And you can see it's asking me it wants to default to that. And it does, and that changes to 1. Uh, then I'm going to do the height, and I'm going to name that one height. And that's going to change it to a value of 2. Uh, then I can hit my green check to accept. I'm going to change to an isometric view just so we can see a little better. And we're going to extrude. I click inside of my shape, and now I'm going to change my depth. I'm going to type in depth there. And that changes that to 0.5. Hit my green check to accept. And I have that wedge made. If I need to change those values, I can come over here. I have my height, length, height, and depth. And I can change those. If my height needed to be 3, I could change that. If my length needed, needed to be 2, I could change that. Uh, so that's how you use parameters to make your wedge. Uh, next, I'll start a new part and create a cylinder. So again, I'm going to use parameters on my cylinder. Uh, so I'm going to have to set the parameter, and I go to configure available, and I'm going to name it height, and the height this time I'm going to set as 5 just so it's a lot taller than my other object. Uh, and then I'm also going to add in a diameter. So I go configuration variable, and name it diameter. And that's going to be obviously be the diameter of my circle. I'm going to set that one as 2 as my default, and hit the green check. Uh, so now I have my variable set. So I'm going to close that, and I'm going to start a sketch for my cylinder. I'm going to put the cylinder on the top, or I refer to it as the bottom, typically, view. And I'm just going to hit a center point circle. I'm going to draw my circle. And then I'm going to type in for the value. I'm going to select my dimension tool and name it diameter. And that's going to default it to 2 inches. Uh, then I hit my green check to accept, and then I extrude. I'll click on my object. I'll change to an ISO so you can see it extrude. And we want to change the depth here to be the height. In this case, I end up with 5 inches. Green check to accept, and we have our cylinder made. So that's how we create our cylinder. Uh, finally is the tall block. So similar process on that. Again, I'm just going to document. I'm going to name it tall block. Accept that. We're going to set the parameters again. So I come over on the side, configure variables, and the first one I'm just going to name is length. I'll leave that as one. Uh, second one is going to be uh, depth. So I'm going to, uh, second one's going to be height in this case, and I'll just make that one. It's a tall block, so I'll make that one five again. Hit my green check. And then my third one is just going to be the depth of the object again. So just like we had on our first one. Depth, and I'll leave that as one here as well. Uh, then all we have to do is create our shape. So sketch, I'm going to go on the front, and I'm going to do a corner rectangle in this case. So I'm going to make my rectangle. I'm going to hit dimension. On the bottom, I'm just going to name it length, and that's going to default to one. And then on the side, it's going to be my height which is a default to 5, and then I'm going to finish my sketch and extrude it out. Hit extrude, click on my object, and type in depth. And that gives us our tall block. Again, you can change those values here. So if I want that object to be a little deeper, I could change that to a 2 and make it more of the tall block you see. Hopefully this helps. Good luck.